hey what's up everyone creative venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and this time as you can see on our screen right now we are creating a multi-purpose light design so subscribe now to our channel and hit the like button so the very first step to create such a beautiful slide is insert an image i have already downloaded this image from paxis.com let's insert a rectangle over this shape as an overlay shape remove its outline now we will fill gradient color we will only use two stops in the gradient and i have already created this gradient color so this is a combination of blue and green now insert arrow pentagon shape so we will use it use three copies of it so first of all let's remove its outline and apply white color let's increase its transparency to 90 percent now duplicate the shape you can duplicate it by pressing ctrl c ctrl v let's reduce its width and create a third copy and again re reduce its width so we have these three arrows stacked together let's adjust this once again so that we get their perfect placement and alignment so i think it is looking much better now now select this overlay shape and the second pentagon arrow shape after selecting both these shapes, go to Format, Merge Shape and Subtract and you will get this kind of effect. Let's select the first pentagon arrow shape, reduce its transparency and we will keep it very minimum. So now the background is visible from this pentagon arrow shape. Now adjust the third pentagon arrow shape and adjust its transparency and let's keep it around 74 percent now for the third arrow move the yellow dot towards left so it is more pointed now also increase its width so now our slide design is taking shape and it is looking much beautiful now now it's time to insert two more triangles here so let's pick the triangle this one and draw it remove its outline and rotate left 90 degrees and stretch it end to end but from the right and what we will do is we will use its outline only we will we will select the no fill option and in the line option we will select a dotted line i'm just trying to figure out how it will look in white color but i don't think it is required so no fill on the line select white color and slightly increase its transparency i think we can keep it about 55 percent and dash type we have kept as dotted so our lines are now visible duplicate this shape again and we will reduce its width and place it again so this will give a very nice effect of crisscross lines so lines are crossing each other so that kind of effect it will give so as you can see the lines are visible now and our slide design is almost ready what should we add now let's try to add some text for example this is an analytics based slide where you want to showcase some kpis or numbers or introduction so this slide will be very useful where you are showcasing the power of data in terms of analytics so this is pretty easy stuff 
so I am taking D from data and increasing its width apply white fill and adjust the shadow parameters so now T is ready and we will write ATA in another text element so we will keep ATA in in a smaller font size as compared to D so this has created a very beautiful text here data if it is a database slide so you can use this slide you can also this use this slide as a cover slide for data now comes the most easy part to insert some random text here and you can uh, replace this text with the original text so let's write here creative venus in ubuntu font ubuntu light now we will write business presentation below it i have duplicated this text layer and i have written some dummy text here let's reduce the size of the dummy text to approximate 9 yes i have kept it 9 let's change the font color to dark gray rather than dark, dark color like black so now let's insert some call to action so again to match the theme of the slide we have used pentagon arrow shape as call to action so i have used white color on it apply shadow effect and in the shadow we will change the black shadow color to dark blue and increase the blurness of the shadow so now you can see it is creating a very nice effect here so let's write here dummy text learn more select all ubuntu light all case uppercase and correct spacing to very loose so our slide is ready so this is a multi-purpose slide and you can use this design in any of your slide all you have to do is change the text from data to something else for example if you're creating a slide for the scope of the project so you can write s in large font and then c o p e so as you can see on a screen i've created a few slides for about mission scope and then data so it is pretty easy stuff it's all about creating different kind of triangles at different uh, shapes and sizes so i hope you like the design of this slide so give a thumbs up by hitting the like button and please subscribe to our channel and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so thank you everyone have a nice day bye bye